Tower 365 provides year-round extended learning right here in Eagle County. And so here to talk to us about Youth Power 365 as well as their upcoming turkey trot is Lauren Dickholm and Kiki Fornito. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you guys. <laughs> Already in the spirit. Weather yeah. looks great for your turkey trot. It does. So it does. Let's talk a little bit about Youth Power 365. What is it and who does it serve? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So we provide extended learning programming for the youth and families of Eagle County um, from cradle to career. So we have Power Up, which is our early childhood programs. We have Power Hours, which serves K through eighth graders and then power on, which is career and college readiness. So really trying to make sure that there's a pipeline for kids to be able to be prepared for um, what's beyond high school. And do I understand that you also do parent mentoring? We do, yes, that's one of our newer initiatives and that really takes parents um, of young children and puts them in classrooms as volunteers and also provides trainings for them so that they're better equipped to be um, better their child's first teacher and also prepared to be an advocate for their kids in the school. It seems to me you also sometimes partner with other charities as well, like the Literacy Project. Yeah, absolutely. We try and be great partners with um, lots of different nonprofits in Eagle County, um, CMC, Eagle County Schools, uh, to make sure that kids are receiving um, everything that they need to be able to be prepared. And are you under the umbrella of the Vail Valley Foundation? We are. We're the education arm of the VBF. And mm -hmm. about how many people do you serve every year? About 4,000 kids and families every year. That's incredible. So how do you raise funds? Is the turkey trot one of the ways you guys run it, raise funds for this? Exactly. The turkey trot is one of those, and that's upcoming this week, obviously, as you can see with this <laughs> nice getup I've got on today. Will yeah. you be running in this, Kiki? I, I sure hope not. I um, <laughs> think that I can pass it on to, to a, a kid. Maybe it'll fit them a little bit better than it fits me, but yeah. It looks like it's been around for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems to me that this also um, supports both Youth Power 365 as well as the Eric Spry Memorial Fund. Can you tell me a little bit about that as well? Yeah, so the Eric Spry Memorial Fund is a scholarship that's um, administered through our Dollars for Scholars Scholarship um, Collaborative. And for those of you who don't know Eric Spry, he was a Battle Mountain High School student and he was an avid cross country runner a great student, just an overall really great guy and who tragically passed away um, in college at CU Boulder. So the scholarship initiative is really in his honor to find a student or a senior every year who embodies his spirit. Um, and it's a scholarship that was really started by that cross country team at Battle Mountain High School and we thought it was appropriate that some of the Turkey Trot 5K um, funds would also be allotted to the scholarship fund. Where is the Turkey Trot taking place? It's in Eagle Vale and the race kicks off at 9.30 in the morning, but come a little early. Um, we'll have coffee and bagels and some mimosas for after the race. <laughs> uh, kind of a way to, a great way to kick off your Thanksgiving before you sit down to that big turkey and mashed right. potatoes and pie, go out for right. a race. So how do people register for your race? Can they do it the day of? Would you prefer they do it in advance? Yeah, if you do it in advance, you can go online to youthpower365.org and register there. And yeah, the sooner the better, because prices go up if you register at the event. But we, you know, the more the merrier. We'd love to have everyone join us. Kiki Lauren, it's been great having you on the show and good luck with the turkey trot Thank and happy you. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Stay tuned, we've got your weather coming right up.